What's up you guys, it's SpideyDeco64 here again with yet another um, NASCAR diecast review when I got for you today, and that is Kevin Harvick's number 98 Hutt Brothers Pizza Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing in the Xfinity Series. So this is a new recent car I just picked up. This is the first Xfinity car I have for this season. Not many has been, not many Xfinity car, no Xfinity cars has been released yet. You know, not even, you know, like, 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 um, like not many Xfinity cars have been released yet. So, um, yeah, and, um, so I'm not gonna blah, blah, blah on. With the rest of this video, let's just take a quick look at the magnet that it comes with. You can see here it comes with this magnet of the car. Which looks, which looks pretty good. You know, I like it. It'll pre look pretty good on my on my refrigerator. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <clears throat> so anyways... Let's have, let's take a quick look at this car and I'll give you my full opinion on it, you know? So um yeah, this car so yeah. Um so yeah, Kevin Harvick um runs this car only a, for a little only um for a couple of races in the Xfinity Series, I know he ran the Cup Atlanta race, and then the and then the Xfinity Atlanta race, and then the Xfinity Texas race, which he had pit, which um, which he won, which he actually won in this car at um, Atlanta. So I guess hey, that's pretty good. You know what? I mean, after Dover, I mean, we have to now we have to deal with basically Cup drivers winning the Xfinity. You know, we won't have awesome moments like Spencer Gallagher, you know, winning his first Xfinity race at Ta at Talladega, which, that was pretty cool. You know, so, um, yeah. So, really overall, this car, I like the green on it. It looks very good, you know. You know, the red and the white going over here, you know. The 98 looks pretty good. You know, a number we don't see in NASCAR really that often. I think the last time it was ran in the Cup Series was Josh Wise, maybe? Yeah, but um, anyways. Anyways, let's just take a quick look at this car. And I'll give you my full opinions on it. Alright, just to point some things out that what is up with the front. Now, if you guys do not know that... um. When I got this car um, originally, there was no decals in the front. There was no the head the headlights weren't there. the 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 pony wasn't there. There's not even a Ford logo. So um, yeah um, that's so yeah that was missing. I just basically colored in with a black permit marker to just replicate that. So um, yeah, bad quality control online now. And plus, this was the only Kevin Harvick car at the store at the store. So, um, yeah. Let's just take a quick look at it. So we got the Stuart Haas Racing logo right there. Sononko, Mog, Mahal, Edlock, Mustang, 18. Sononko, Moot, Mog, Mahal, Edlock. Same thing on the other, same thing on the other side. Good, good, you right here. And we got the new NASCAR Xfinity Series logo right there. Mechanical Wear, Mobile One, Simpson, and we got 98. We got um, Kevin Harvick's uh, mother, um, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Ford, Haas, and Jimmy John's. Is there any Bush Beer logos on this car? <laughs> it got exalted there with Rush Truck Center, I believe. Huh, this is weird. Why isn't the exhaust ports painted? The exhaust ports are right here, so I think I'll do that. As well, Let's see, Hubbard's Pizza, Haas, Mobile One, 
Hotbird's Pizza right here, then we have the two Hotbird's Pizza logo right there, and then the back of the Mustang 498 GT. And also one thing I do have to praise Lionel, and that is they got they got it right. They finally got it right. This is the correct spoiler for the NASCAR Xfinity series. I think maybe I'll do I think maybe I want to maybe compare. This is actually, um, I'm actually doing this, but here's another Xfinity car. I want to just see, I want to really compare the sizes between these spoilers. And the old one is a bit taller. So, um, yeah, this is the same thing on the side. There's a little bit of paint chip um, right here. So, um, yeah, overall, a pretty good looking car, you know. Like I said, I like the green. I like how it's designed, you know. I missed out last year on, on, on this car, but hey, it has a new number, so um, yeah. Also, I did have a Kevin Harvick Xfinity car from last year, so actually, let's just do a little comparison. Here's the um, tracks on off-road one. So, um, yeah, obviously you can see that the body is a bit different for the for the back, you know. They have, here's the dog ear spoilers, and then here's just the regular spoiler, which, so yeah. And then here he is compared to his teammate, Cole Custer. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks really good. I'm going to drop the camera right there. So, um, yeah, anyways, um, I'm, I'll say that. Anyways, hopefully you guys, you enjoyed this video. So, overall, what's my rating on this diecast or this car? Um, overall, it's a really, it's a really good car, you know, plus this is, and it, this is, and a, this is an, an exclusive to this wave, so, you can't, so yeah, you can't get this car anywhere, anywhere else, you know, this is the only, um, you know, this is the only time that you can get this car, which, I definitely recommend you do get it, so, um, yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, um, comment down, be comment down below what do you think of this car. And with that being said, I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.